Hey guys, here's a kind of preview game dev video for a quest system that I'm currently creating for my Unity Low Poly Game Kit Pro. Let's have a look at an early stage of development. The character can receive a quest from a so-called quest giver, this can be a character, a button, anything you like. In this conversation the quest to collect gems is given and accepted when the player selects the first answer. After that, the accepted quest is displayed in the quest panel. As I said, this is a first version, it will be improved and extended. Ok, this is the basic software design, of course we have a quest class with a name and description. An event is fired when the quest is completed and the player will receive rewards then. The quest consists of quest tasks, for which we will have a base class. So a quest is completed when all tasks are completed and the cool thing is, you can derive your own tasks from this class. But of course I will add templates like collecting stuff, killing enemies or to build something and many more. A quest reward can return items that are given to the player, but I will add different kind of rewards, for example giving the player experience points or health points or something like that. Ok, then there is a quest giver class that can be added to any game object so that a quest can be given to the player and it can be accepted either by opening an accept UI or by calling the accept method of this class. The last one is the quest UI class that can be used to display the quest and the tasks, this will be extended as well. Alright, so let's go back to our scene in which I used this guy as the quest giver, so I added the quest giver script to him and assigned a quest and the player controller as parameter. Ok, but how to create a quest or a quest task object? Well, this is very simple, these are scriptable objects that can be created by right clicking in a folder and then you choose create low poly game kit quest. Then an asset is created, you can define a file name, name and description for it and for the quest you can also define a list of tasks. A quest task can be created the same way and then you can drag the created task object to a slot of the quest. You can also bind Unity events for both quests and tasks to be notified when these are completed. Ok, now I delete these assets. And then let's see how a quest is accepted, for example in a conversation. I have a conversation item listener here, this is a prefab that you can use and it fires an event when the conversation changes, for example when the player answers a question of an NPC. Then you can add the tag for which you want to be notified, I use the tag accept gem quest, which is defined in the conversation database. For this I open the gem quest conversation and here you can see the accept gem quest tag for the answer alright why not? And when this answer is selected in the conversation I call the method accept for the quest giver script. So you see this is really flexible and loosely coupled. Ok, last thing that I want to show you is the C sharp code, so far it's not finished. Here's the quest class which is a scriptable object for that you can define a create asset menu. This menu will appear under low poly game kit quest. And there's a method called check completed in which I will add the logic to check whether all tasks are completed, then I will set the is completed property to true. Also the quest task has a virtual method to check if it is completed so that it can be overwritten in subtasks, like here the quest collect task, because every subtask has its own logic to be completed. When a task is completed we call the method check completed for the quest and also events will be fired. But as I said, this is an early stage of development, but I wanted to show you what I'm currently working on, the link to the asset can be found in the description below and of course when you get it now all updates are free. If you like the asset and my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, stay tuned, thanks for watching and supporting me and I'll see you on JNM.